Have you ever wondered what happens to your body when you don't eat anything? Let's delve into the first 24 hours. When you stop eating, your body has to find another source of energy. It turns to the glucose stored in your liver and muscles. This glucose is easily accessible and is the body's first choice of fuel when food is not available. Hunger pangs may kick in as your body signals its need for more food. These sensations are typically felt in the stomach and are often described as a gnawing or rumbling sensation. But don't be fooled. Hunger is not just a physical sensation. It's a complex response involving hormones, stomach muscles, and even your brain. As the glucose reserves deplete, your concentration and energy levels might start to wane. You may find it harder to focus on tasks or feel more tired than usual. This is your body conserving energy as it adjusts to the lack of food intake. In addition to feeling hungry and potentially less focused, you might also experience some minor discomforts, such as headaches or stomach cramps. These are symptoms of your body adjusting to the sudden drop in blood sugar levels. It's not uncommon to feel a bit off during this initial stage of fasting. So, in the first 24 hours of not eating, your body starts to use its sugar reserves and you may experience some discomfort. It's a fascinating insight into our body's resilience and adaptability, isn't it? But remember, these changes are a response to a temporary situation. Extended periods of not eating can lead to more serious health issues. Always consult with a healthcare professional if you're considering a fast or experiencing prolonged periods of not eating. Stay tuned, as in the next scene, we'll explore the effects of fasting beyond the first 24 hours. As we move into the 24 to 72 hour range of not eating, your body undergoes more drastic changes. Once the easily accessible glucose stores have been used up, your body has to find a new source of energy. This is when it starts to burn fat. Yes, you heard it right, your body starts to tap into those stubborn fat stores that you might have been trying to get rid of. But this isn't as beneficial as it might sound. This process can lead to an increase in fatigue and dizziness as your body adjusts to using a different fuel source. You might start to feel more tired than usual, and simple tasks could become more challenging. And here's where it gets even trickier. As your body burns fat for energy, it also starts to break down muscle tissue. This is because some vital organs, like your brain, can't use fat for energy and require glucose. To meet this need, your body can start to break down muscle tissue to create glucose. This can lead to muscle loss, which can be particularly detrimental if you're not eating enough protein to rebuild those muscles. During this period, you might also notice significant decreases in your concentration and motivation levels. Remember that your brain needs glucose to function effectively. Without a regular intake of carbohydrates, your brain might struggle to stay focused, and you could find it difficult to stay motivated. These changes are your body's way of trying to conserve energy when food is scarce, but they can have serious implications for your health. Prolonged periods of not eating can lead to nutrient deficiencies and can impact your immune system, making you more susceptible to illness. After three days without food, your body starts to burn fat, and serious symptoms like dizziness and muscle loss can occur. It's important to remember that while our bodies are incredibly adaptive, they are not designed to go without food for extended periods. So if you're considering a fast or a diet that involves not eating for several days, it's crucial to do it under medical supervision to ensure you're not putting your health at risk. Venturing into the three to five day mark, our bodies enter a state known as ketosis. This metabolic shift occurs when the body's glucose reserves, which are its preferred source of energy, have been depleted. Now, the body has to turn to its fat stores as a source of energy instead. This process results in the production of substances called ketones, which are used as fuel by the body and brain. One of the more peculiar side effects of ketosis is a change in the way your breath smells. You may notice a fruity or sweet aroma, often likened to the scent of nail polish remover. This is due to the high levels of a specific ketone called acetone, which can be expelled from the body through the breath. However, this metabolic state also brings with it a host of less pleasant symptoms. As your body adjusts to burning fat instead of glucose, you may experience extreme fatigue and lethargy. This is often referred to as the keto flu and can make even simple tasks seem extraordinarily challenging. Nausea and vomiting can also occur as your body adapts to its new fuel source. These symptoms are typically a result of the body's reaction to the increased presence of ketones and can be particularly distressing. Perhaps one of the most concerning effects of prolonged fasting is the impact on the immune system. By the three to five day mark, the immune system may start to weaken. 
The body's ability to fight off infections and diseases is compromised as it diverts energy away from the immune system and towards vital functions. By the fifth day without food, your body is in a state of ketosis and you may be feeling very ill. This is a stark reminder of the importance of regular and balanced meals in maintaining our health and well-being. Going without food for extended periods is not just uncomfortable. It can have serious implications for our overall health. Going beyond five days without food takes a severe toll on your body. The human body is not built to survive without nutrition for extended periods. When you deprive it of essential nutrients for more than five days, it continues to break down muscle tissue to meet its energy needs. This muscle breakdown isn't limited to the muscles you see, like your biceps or quadriceps. It also includes the muscles you don't see, like your heart. Yes, your heart is a muscle, and it's not exempt from this process. This is where things get serious. The continuous breakdown of heart muscle can lead to cardiovascular issues and heart rhythm disorders. These are severe health problems that can result in long-term damage, if not immediate danger. But the heart is not the only organ at risk. Your body's desperate attempt to source energy can put all your organs under extreme stress, increasing the risk of organ failure. This includes vital organs like your kidneys and liver, which perform essential functions in your body, like filtering out toxins and regulating your body's metabolism. As you can see, the body's response to prolonged starvation is far from ideal. It's a desperate survival strategy that can lead to serious health problems and even death. And that's the ultimate consequence of not eating for five to seven days and beyond. The risk of death. In the most severe cases, prolonged starvation can lead to a coma. This happens when your body has exhausted all its energy reserves and can't maintain basic bodily functions. At this stage, the situation is critical and immediate medical intervention is necessary. So you see, the body's response to not eating for five to seven days is a desperate attempt to survive. But this survival strategy comes at a high cost, often resulting in severe health problems and even death. It's a stark reminder of how crucial food and nutrition are to our survival. After a week without food, the risk of serious health problems and even death increases. It's not a risk worth taking. Your body needs food, not just to thrive, but to survive. The long-term effects of not eating can be devastating. Over extended periods, your body continues to break down muscle tissue for energy, leading to muscle weakness. You may also experience hair loss as your body lacks the necessary nutrients for growth and regeneration. Furthermore, a lack of essential nutrients can lead to loss of bone density, making your bones more prone to fractures and breaks. The body's desperate search for energy can also lead to organ damage. Your heart, liver, and kidneys are particularly vulnerable as they require a steady supply of nutrients to function properly. But the impact is not just physical. Psychological issues can also arise from long-term fasting. You might experience mood swings, depression, or anxiety due to changes in your brain chemistry and the physical stress on your body. In the long run, not eating can lead to a host of health problems, from physical to psychological. Clearly, not eating is extremely dangerous for your body. It's not just about feeling hungry or losing weight. It's about your body's ability to function, to think clearly, to fight off illness. It's about staying alive. Depriving your body of food means depriving it of the essential nutrients it needs to perform these vital tasks. Eating is not just a habit, it's a necessity. When you maintain healthy eating habits, you're not just avoiding the severe and potentially lethal effects of starvation. You're ensuring that your body has the fuel it needs to thrive. If you're struggling with hunger, if you're battling an eating disorder, you're not alone. There are professionals who can help. Doctors, dietitians, therapists, they're ready to help you navigate your way back to health. Don't let shame or fear keep you from reaching out. Your health, your life is too important. Remember, if you're feeling hungry or struggling with an eating disorder, don't hesitate to reach out to a medical professional. Your health is too important to risk.